Oh boy, it feels like 10,000 years since I came back to this game. Hello everyone, my name is Omega Zero and I am back finally <sighs> since school is over with more Final Fantasy VII. Now, with this, we, in the last episode, we were given instructions that we basically had to go find Bugenhagen and we we're basically going to go on the spiritual journey for Red to find out what happened. If it ever loads. There we go. Jeez, that actually took a while. I don't know why. I actually do not know why that actually took a long while to load. Anyways, we're going to head up the stairs and we're going to go on the spiritual journey with Red. Apparently. Hey, you cannot see the curve. Anyways, come up here. Here's Boogenhagen. And with us, we have Red 13, obviously, and Barrett. You have a secret button inside a door. Well, not a door, a little hatch. But it's, uh, we basically have, like... <laughs> oh, you're crazy, it's dangerous in there, I told you that. I uh, mean, go, you want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. But essentially, Boogahogging is in our party, but not really. He's just there for spectacle, in a sense. Anyways, we go head on down. There we go. It's like, jeez. And I do kind of like the change in music. Like, as you get further down, like, what the f***? Did I journey into Hellfire from uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame? Anyways, time to go. I do believe we have another enemy skill here to learn here. I am not sure, though. Let me see. I'm going to look it up real quick because I am at not entirely sure. Um, might as well look it around. Enemy skill. Cave of Ghee. Well, I do see a materia. Uh, we're gonna leave that rock alone because geez there's skeletons everywhere and we are attacked but we have the advantage why not uh, let's show off I think the, nah I'm gonna save that one right let's just show off magic yes I didn't give them like the max out skills I actually forgot that because it has been a while since I, uh, like I said, since I played this. Okay, yeah, so there is one, but I don't... Yeah, yeah, there is one, which I think is called Death Sentence. And he has a death sentence on any opponent. And there is a few enemies you can give it to, but let's see who I have it. Uh, we have it on Cloud. Do we also have Manipulate on him? No, we have Steel. Uh, we also have it on Barret. He doesn't even have it. Why did I do that? Oh my goodness. I think it was just to level it up. Uh, death Blow. Oh yeah, we got Death Blow at the end of the last episode. And I also bought a bunch of MP plus materials, which does exactly what it says. But yeah, death blow with the it basically is like this. Death blow allows you to do a massive amount of damage, but it essentially puts you in the like a it's a coin flip in a sense. And two out of three times you're going to miss. So if you like to gambling, you can do that if you want to. It's probably on like Tifa or something. Yeah, uh, we're gonna throw it on Red Thirteen for now. Yeah, I know that's like. Uh, break it open. Oh, hey, we opened the door. I didn't even know it was that one. But we're also going to kind of just screw around and look. Let's And let's show what happens when you break open the wrong one. <laughs> I didn't even know that was the right one to break. But I think these guys also cast it. Yeah, they also cast Death Force. So I'm just going to manipulate one of them to do it. And then we'll just... 
Oh, come on. You couldn't manipulate. Let's see. Uh, let me manipulate you. And if it takes too long... Because it said Miz. There we go. Okay, so... We're going to have it cast it on Cloud. And then we're going to have to probably use the... Uh, Hey, learned it. Hurry up. Um, but yeah, actually it does take a while, so you can just cast it real quick and then kill him. And there, we learned death sentence. Uh, for that, you get nuked. <laughs> yeah. See, this is what happens when you... Yeah, that was overkill. Maybe I should just have Cloud play support because I just overleveled the heck out of myself before I got here because, again, I did all that stuff in uh, the Disc 2 area. Alright, uh, we will come back for that Materia that sh was up there earlier if we didn't get attacked. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna run. Uh, that is not, uh, not what I wanted. Which one's run? Ah, screw it. Anger Max. Y you made him angry, his anger's at max power. Way to go, pair of koalas. Ooh, maxing out some of these are gonna be annoying. I knew that you know, we'll have one maxed out before the end of the game, at the very least. Hoo hoo hoo! Everyone here is a ghost of the Gee tribe, killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The Avenger spirits of the Gee didn't disappear and couldn't return to the live stream. We still have far to go. <laughs> yeah, so expect a lot of exposition. Well, not a lot. Just expect some exposition. Ah, uh, yes, this part. Now, you see this grease on the floor? Do not run on it. I am not going to show you what happens if you run on it because I don't feel like taking damage. And screw it. Just nuke them. They're, they're wasting time. They're XP points at this point. That's all I see. All I see is more XP points. <laughs> and Lightning leveled up, yeah. If we didn't see it, yeah. But you see the scoot, don't run on it because if you do, you'll f run and take damage, you'll hit the wall. Go through here, and we go. We get back in first area, we get added effect material. I have no, I honestly really do not know what that does. Like, uh, here we'll go to materia. I have no idea what it does. It should be at the bottom. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we have a lot of that. I bought a lot. <laughs> Adds material status to armor, or weapon or armor, which I'm thinking is supposed to be like the same thing as the elemental material. But I'm not sure. Gosh dang it. Uh oh. Like my earphones are messing up. There we go. Let's run. Uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Besides, I actually have to run a certain amount of times now that I think about it, because um, we're coming up to something that will require us to uh, run away a certain amount of times and have entered battle a certain amount of times, and you do have to do it in a certain way. Okay, so we're gonna run all the way out here, do 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 do, run under here, and what do we get? A black megaphone for Ketchi. Uh, okay, nothing there. You always have to check every nook and cranny in these uh, RPGs. Back attack, don't care. Oh, death sentence. Does anyone notice they look like predators? Like the uh, like the yeah, the Yachua from the Predator series. Says that's what they're called. Like if you look at death sentence, it actually looks like it's the predator. If we can't. Oh no, we got lucky. Guess our speed was faster. Okay, let's see what we pick up. An ether. I'll take that. It's always good to have ethers. Even though like, it's kind of useless at this point. 
Like really, if you're just gonna have fun and cheat, uh, like, just go ahead and do it. It's like, you can literally turn on God mode and pretty much you can't die unless your maximum HP is just taken over. Case in point, say if you have like 500 HP, but the opponent does like 10,000 damage, which they won't do, but to say as an example, you're not living that. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. Even though the Gi outnumbered us, they cannot attack Gi through here because the passage is too narrow. Let's move on. And it's Red 13 just signs like, what is Grandpa getting at? Anyways, here's one of the least annoying, one of the more annoying parts. You basically have to go through each of these like interconnected tubes and just kind of like figure out which one goes where. And it's kind of annoying. Because it's like, oh, which one is it? So, like, which one do I go through? It's like, yeah. Alright, so, no cloud. You don't, uh, okay, Barrett's too strong. <laughs> like, this is the problem when you over level. Like, I, I become too strong. I'm strong. Too strong. Uh, let's say it's this one. Nope. It's not that one I want to go through. Stupid earphones. I had to buy. I had to buy a new set of earphones, but I can't because like I'm just gonna be short on cash this month. Because school is a pain in the half. Because I'm going back to summer school so I can graduate this summer. Run away! Can I go through these? Jesus. Okay, you can go through like one of them. It's like okay, but I want to go through there so I can grab that. It's like uh nope. Blech. Okay, well, going forward, like, you run into this giant spider web, and you fight this. What the? Is this? I have no idea what it's called. I'll probably put it here. Like, what is it actually called? But yeah, these things, if you're not overleveled like me, they can hurt, like, a lot. Like, sting. Oh my god! Yeah! Like, holy crap. And if you use... Yeah, look at that. But I think the reason why it does so, Sting Bomb does so much is because it is based on gravity. It's a gravity attack. I have actually never seen Red 13 perform that limit break. Uh, the moon line. It's actually kind of strange, like, see, so you can't perform it because, like, oh, I've never seen it do it. Because, like, most of the time when I get it, like, I. When I get to a certain amount of limit breaks, I just kind of stick with the level 4. And most of the time, I don't use Red 13 all that much, even though I think he's a cool character in comparison to some of the other ones. Run away! Barrett, the absolute chat, take it a hit. Okay, what's. Door number three. I think door number three is just a dead end. Because there's a freaking door that allows you to go over here. But yeah, we're going to go fight this one. You're not doing anything this time, you prick. Or at the very least, you're not doing stinging bomb, you freaking spider hole. Yeah. Like 10,000 damage. See, you survived that one, you prick. I'm over leveled. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I was wrong. Like, you go all the way back up there, then you come down here. What the? Oh my goodness. Like, I've, we're running into so many enemies in this part. Like, usually it's not a problem, but since I'm so strong, it's not worth it in my opinion. What the? You know, I'm actually starting to get annoyed with the amount of enemies we're facing because I feel like the game's intentionally trying to piss me off with the amount of enemies we're throwing in. So, with the intention of saving time and my sanity, there we go. Right there. Fairy ring. Uh, let's see what that does. I need to get new earphones. These things keep coming out, cutting off. It protects against poison and darkness, which I think is all pretty good. Yeah, fire ring, nullifies fire attacks. Got power wrist. I'll probably just give that to T-Fox so he punches harder. 
but we don't get basically the best accessory until a thing near the end of the game and it does take a bit of effort to get it all right and we had to fight one more of these friggin things but first I'm gonna go down path four again because I want that item let's see what the item brings us and we're gonna run <laughs> yeah, a lot of running done in this episode. Like, I feel like too strong to deal with these. These peons are beneath me. An X potion, which I believe heals a thousand HP. Uh, no, I'm not custom. Friggin' Yeah, no, fully restores HP. So you have a full HP. It's basically an elixir well, it, for the HP. Which I believe a turbo ether is an elixir but for the MP. And you know, the elixir is just the best of both worlds. And then there's a glitch we can do to duplicate them, but we can't do that until dang near the end of the game, which I'll be doing off screen to basically get like the best. Uh, I'll probably like show off where you can get these, but that's about it. Like I won't show off like all right, how long it took me to max out every single stat for every single character for this period of time. How much does Quake do? Oh, I don't know about some energy. Oh Jesus, freak! Barrett being an absolute chat. Stop it. Fire three. Bird, baby! Wow, they don't. Well, I say they don't have that much HP, but I, I say around 3,000 for like a mini boss is a lot. Anyways, we're gonna use potions to heal up Barrett. Or high potions. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't notice we had like three explosions. But I feel like Barrett's healed up enough. We go, gosh dang it! Run, just run, I'm not dealing with this. I, I, I'm not dealing with this. And I do sorry if you pick up some noise from the background, because like, I did turn the DV down all the way, so that'll be off. And we have a turbo ether. All right, Bugenhagen, give us some more lore. What happened to the rest of the Gitrek? This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Did he throw their bodies into that pool of lava? Grandpa, that warrior. Hoo hoo hoo, we're almost there. Okay, so that's not the demon door, because that comes later. And it's far more creepy. <laughs> and my guys are like, what is this? See, the ghost of the gi, like, stacked in the air. This cannot be! They're like, what the fuck? Hey guys, it's boss battle time. Guess what? You're not gonna hear the boss music, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, you wanna see easy way to uh, kill this boss? I believe it, you do this. I think. If not, they cast fire on themselves to heal them because it's fire based. Hey, uh, can you do something? Oh wow, 200 damage. You burn me from my soul. I think you do this. Does that kill it automatically? No. Uh, let's see. I think it's this. Like. Yeah, you do this. Oh wow, you rarely did anything. Yeah, uh, since this care this enemy type is considered undead, meaning like healing hurts it. That's why it said like when you cast Phoenix now, it didn't do much. It didn't do anything. However, let's see this like just to show it off because of the undead type. Because I don't think we fight it too often in this game. Yeah, healing it actually hurts it a lot. And now we're gonna show off Barrett's anger max. It's just wholesale fire a bunch of bullets, and it's dead. <laughs> Cloud healed it, and Barrett shot it a bunch of times. Now, the best way to actually just defeat that boss outright is just to throw an elixir at it. But if you don't want to waste your elixir, you will take some damage fighting it because of the stupid thing it does like it will possess you it will possess your enemies and all that and we got a wiser staff out of it ah oh, thank you cloud because of you we survived 
Nanaki, you have grown strong too. But he didn't do anything during that fight other than throw a phoenix out of it. That didn't even work. Alright, but yeah, for that boss battle, we had to cut it. And you are allowed to move. And we picked this up. Hey, it's gravity. Not a, it's powerful, but it's also not powerful. Anyways, go to the next area. Dun. This will probably be copyrighted. Unfortunately, it's a good theme too. Dun, 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 dun. This is... The warrior who fought against the Gi kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. Never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki, look at your father. Look at your father at the wall, your Seto. Seto Kaiba? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It's not Seto Kaiba. That'd be really weird, though. <laughs> and we do not know. Like, I think you can say that his father's is that a permanent petrification. It's So it's cutscene based, so you can't do anything about it. No, it's a cutscene status. That doesn't work. You continue to fight the Gi tribe here to protect his can. Even after the Gi's poisonous arrow turned his body to stone. Ah, uh, even after they all ran away, said they continue to protect us. And he continues to protect us, even now. So yeah, he, Seto is conscious. Turned him to stone. Because I'm pretty sure in petrification for most of them, they're aware. Most of the time, unless it's like old school petrification where they completely turn to stone. It's not like a stone casing. He alone went to his life to try to get That is your father, Seto. Did mother know? Oh, she knew. And they promised to make me keep the game show. Well, in a sense, it makes sense why you wouldn't tell a kid or a teenager this right away. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, no, my father abandoned me. Yeah, no, he didn't. He sacrificed his life. Not to tell a soul, yeah. They said we should forget about this cave. But he he knew it was necessary for Red's spiritual journey. Yeah, sure. Would you mind leaving us? Yeah. This is too heavy, so shit. <laughs> this is too this stuff's too heavy for a Red 13 to be said in the presence of others. Too bad we're stuck here. I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. What? Grandpa. This is not our game. Like, I don't know why I'm doing it, Mugihagi with that voice. It just feels good. God says they're trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, you old... <laughs> I can't say it. For even if they stop every reactor to the planet, it will only postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sarah for off, everything will perish. So, are, we, are you saying we're on a suicide mission? But Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. Uh oh, my battery's a guy. If there was anything we could do, it's part of the plan. Suddenly, so help a plan already in misery. No matter what happens, is it important to try? Yeah, he has at least the right point. Like, you might as well try. At the very, very least, like, like your plan's dying. Well, we're gonna do something about it. If it postpones it for five months, five weeks, or five years, we're gonna do it. This year, I'll be a hundred. Fuck! What? Jeez! What herbal remedies is this man taking? He's 130 and he still feels like he's full of life. That's why not again. Must go with him for my sake. That's why we can't boogie high. He'd be the wizard. He'd be level 55 and have zero strength. Unless I just gave him all the stat boosts. Like, every stat boost, he'll be, be fine. <laughs> I had to show you you were a real father before you left. So glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Alright, now. Yeah, most people don't want to do that. I don't like thinking about that. Like, you're telling a teenager this, you're like, yeah, no, that's messed up. Well, I've had a long life. You must live. I'll see to it. That's how I'll be a I'll come back to tell you. No, no, you're like, yeah, this is emotional. Son of the warrior Seto. 
Like, some of the worst. Uh, you feel like you would also say something about his mother, too. We're true to a couple days, so please, Grandpa. It's like, at least stay alive. And this is what I was talking about when I said that the dude's still alive. Seto is still consciously very aware. Seto's. Yeah, like, the Steam's good, but unfortunately it might have to be good. Because, like, either I'm too quiet and not talking, so you can't say anything. Yeah, see, he, like him being aware, he's crying. That is a sentient statue. This man is stuck. Specifically because it's geese poisonous arrows, he soft does not work on it. Like, oh, whoop, sucks. Uh, we can't undo this petrification. Because it's a different type of petrification than what we were used to. I'm pretty sure it's just the geese tribe is all dead. Or at least a lot of them are dead. We can't do anything about it. Well, the buggy speaks, so we can leave. Shall we get going? Alright, so yeah, you can pick your team now. Uh, let's go with Yuffie and Earth at this time. I feel like that's fair. And then everyone just kind of walks off. I'm doing this for the next area, primarily, but I probably will switch Yuffie out. Or Earth, one of the two. Because with that, let's leave the fire pit. And we are going to leave Cosmo Canyon. Because we know, they don't know that this is going to happen. But wait for me, I'm coming too. Dun, dun, dun. And Boogie Hogger riding on his, I don't know, uh, crystal ball. Well, oh, look after Nanaki. I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. As a guy who grew up a little, I decided to keep going, being so great. Come back whenever you need my knowledge. And yeah, Cosmo Canyon is just like another pit stop for you to come back to if you want. Because guess what? The buggy's big! The buggy! Oh, frick. Anyways, with that, everyone, we have finished Cosmo Canyon. We have learned of Red's backstory. He is clear of mind right now. He's set on the warrior path of honoring his father, Seto, not Kaiba. Uh, but with that, everyone, uh, that'll be the end of this episode. My name is Omega Zero, and I'll catch you guys later.